guys, welcome back to Matt and Mom plays Resident Evil. Hi. We're doing the remake Chris side of the story, and we are gonna go on a hike. Yes, we are. Hope you got your boots on. Okay, question. Do you want me to play as this Chris, or do you want me to play as this Chris? Why not the that guy, the Chris Re Redfield? I like all of those. That one with all the... What are they? Explosives? Walking drop? What the hell is I think they're vest packs. Oh, vest packs. There we go. Okay. We'll go with that dude. Okay. For the sake that of version the... of that dude. Put it that way. Because it is that dude. Indeed. Indeed. The dude. Chris. The dude. Chris. <laughs> the dude. Redfield. Yes. Chris. The dude. Oh, he's <laughs> not the dick. Redfield. We'll, <laughs> we will find out. This alpha team is flying around the forest zone situated in northwest Raccoon City where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Have found it yet? No, not yet, Brad. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims Killed ten were families. Oh, no. eaten. The Bravo Team was sent in to investigate. But we lost contact. Look, Chris. No. Bravo team's helicopter was a dead. The new Doom game looks amazing. <laughs> Save for the remaining like body of Kevin. Uh -oh. it's gonna take oh. We continued our search for the other members. And it turned into a nightmare. Okay, quick thing. Yes. Was it on Elm Street? What? Wah, wah. <laughs> First of all, second of, second of all uh, the costume we selected will only appear in the minor cutscenes, but the big CG like this, this is their default. Oh, okay. So don't be surprised when Meat Chris runs <laughs> into this mansion <laughs> instead. That's fine. The red bandana, the equivalent of a red shirt. Here I am, come get me. <sighs> you know, I just noticed the way the camera was pointed, the way he's aiming his shotgun, he was getting more aware of his shoulder was facing rather than where he's looking. So you wouldn't get proper footage of him, oh, I don't know, him accidentally shooting somebody. They're eating him! And now they're going to eat me! Oh my god! Okay, Well, to be fair, she just watched him run the ball to death by dogs. So long to run to that mansion, Chris got beefed out <laughs> simply by running. That's right, because he drank a creatine shake on the way. <laughs> <laughs> he had that in one of his best packs. That's right, he popped it in and sucked it down. There are only three stars. I like to imagine he has now. protein drinks and protein bars <laughs> in one of them. Jill and myself. We you don't know where know. Barry is. <laughs> never open one up, you know, when you just don't get it in a slim jig. <laughs> Barry. Where's Barry? He's... No. Yeah, first difference in this story. Barry's dead. What that? <laughs> he gets Aww. killed off screen by the dogs. I'll go and check it out. What All shame. right. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. Chris? Take care. 
Yeah. Take care, because she knows what's coming your way. <laughs> Man, it's almost like we played her first. I know! Anyways, here's one of the major reasons why Chris is a little bit more challenging. He has less inventory space and he has a knife. He doesn't have a gun. Oh, but knives! Oh, that was personal. Against zombies? Well, headshot. Just go up and go up oh, in this temple. You can hide behind the thing, they, they walk around. Oh, oh. This ain't walking nice. dead. I know, but. Man, that easy. I know. <laughs> that would be actually a good idea. Too bad Chris is an idiot. The, all, the Hi is, there, handsome. So far, so good. Yes. And I can get over there. I like those joints. Yeah, they're actually pretty cool. No, I do. I like to I like to design them. Some of them are like, eh, eh, eh. Wesker? Would you actually live in Jill? a place like this even though it, it would have this kind of history? I told you, I'd rent the son of a bitch. Where did they go? I'd rent, <laughs> I would make, um, I would, I'd tell you. I would just like take, just not even a wing. Just give me like, I'd take like a section and I would just block off San Bernardo. The rest of it, be free reign. I could, yeah. The subterrain, oh yeah, I can make money down there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> cash, cash, money, money. Oh, hell yeah. And I'd have to, no, but see, I wouldn't want to clean it, so I'd have to hire me a shit ton of people. That's fair. I probably would go mad trying to clean it myself. But actually, no, a lot of places I actually wouldn't clean. I'd let the cobwebs in and stuff, because there you go. Because then you get charged more because, you know. Authenticity. Mm -hmm. Motif and the decor. Fits the genre. So ah! There we go, see? Unless you want to spend on decorations. This is true. <laughs> More cha ching cha chang in your pocket, pocket, pocket. Mm hmm. Got a bill, bill, bill all day. Now, see, that's just the thing. Life in a mansion must be so weird. No. Like, could you imagine actually living, like being born and raised in a mansion, and then all of a sudden you have like, I don't know, like a one room apartment? That's it gotta be, be so jarring. Yeah, that would be a culture shock. It'd be like, Jeeves, and be looking around like, oh, freak. It'd be like, yeah, shit's I'm freak. Je I'm Jeeves, <laughs> yeah, I'm Jeeves, oh. <laughs> Alright, the only self-defense items I plan to grab are the flash grenades because they're very useful in Chris runs. Because when a zombie goes to bite you, you plant it in their mouth, their head explodes, and they won't come back as crimson heads. Yay! I like it that. And I gotta use one on that one zombie, so we gotta mm -hmm. when we carry the nitroglycerin, mm -hmm. oh, we don't mm -hmm. die! Yes, we don't want to die. Here we go, this is where the money comes in. Come on, follow me. We're giving guided tours. Gonna grab this in advance. You think Children of the Corn's got something on you? <laughs> no, that's Resident Evil 4. <laughs> Just wait. Oh, for the Stello! Pretty much Outlander! <laughs> you know what? If Resident Evil 4 was more like Children of the Corn, that would be fantastic. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. This is where the big, this is where the big ticket items are, people. <laughs> so you can rent space out for parties. Tonight. Could you imagine if this specific room was used to recalibrate the boiler and you had to get the arrowhead every single time? Uh, Having to open the graveyard and uh, all that again and again <laughs> to recalibrate the damn thing so the house don't blow up? <laughs> can you say that? <laughs> Reality? <laughs> 
It's gonna be on that one Irish Fear Factor show we watched, Twitch or whatever. <laughs> Twitched? Twitch. Or whatever it was called. Pretty Man, much. The cardio, that's why, see, they get good cardio going up and down the stairs and running the halls. Alright, I'm gonna try to dodge a zombie. Because we need to grab old keys. Because unlike Jill, he can't pick locks. Because, once again, he's a meathead. Okay. Personally, I think a man with that much muscle should just kick down doors. But that's just me. Well, it's, it, if, all you're the, if all you have is bulk, then you better use it. Dude, you should be punching the zombies. Fists should be an equipable weapon. Mm-hmm. If that's all you is, if all you is is bolt. Usually I'm good at dodging him. That sometimes. I said sometimes, <gasps> not always. No! You know what? I'm gonna have to kill him. I don't care. You just gotta go. What you finish? Yeah, kill him. Come on, folks, that's our blood. I was kind of hoping to pop his head, but oh well. Yeah. Another thing about Chris is that he gets easier critical shots than Jill. Because all he is is bulk. He's a bag of baloney running around the mansion. A baloney? He's a bag of baloney running Not the baloney! He's the baloney! Oh no! Should I get the Oscar? No! <laughs> <laughs> about Chris. He doesn't fall on his ass like Jill does. Yeah, I don't know what that is with the women. Oh, we step back and all of a sudden we lose our footage and all of a sudden we've got to be on our foot. Like, oh, well. No, no. He led. Boom. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna love Resident Evil 3 then. <laughs> Look forward to it. <laughs> but we gotta get through this first. I know. And Resident Evil 2. That's okay. Alright, we have to go get the kerosene and burn this dude. That's right. He's gonna be a problem. I need a flamo. I need a flamo. Flamo zombie? Flamo zombie. Alright, let's go have an inventory box because we are actually. Flamsy. No, Flamsy. <laughs> flamesy. Flamesy. I need a flamesy. Flamesy. Sounds good. Alright, like I said, we need to hit up inventory box. Well, let's just go get that. We got some fire making to do. Indeed. I need some marshmallows. I'm gonna roast. No, that's alright. We don't want to eat that. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> Toast your mar set him on fire and pull out a marshmallow out of the head out of the belt pack. That's Resident Evil the funny ending. Instead <laughs> of protein bars. We'll have to come back. He pulls a he pulls a marshmallow and crack crack at a Hershey. That makes a s'more. <laughs> <laughs> Not dead, but he just fell over. Oh, <laughs> it's rather brilliant. <laughs> Typewriter, not interested. All right, we don't need this right now. We'll take that to combine, and we'll get rid of the knife while we're at it. Because the knife, until one part, is garbo. And we'll grab this. Oh yes. Oh yes, we want that. Yes, we do. And we want that. More bullets. And refill the canister. All right, we ready to go now. Yes, we are. <laughs> Who uh, wants to go first? Who's the first contestant on? You right up my life. <laughs> That's all right. 
Ah, uh, that's not. Uh, 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 uh. What was that about? Well, that kind of bit the dust. We're supposed to send somebody up. Oh! Watch out. There we go. Yes! Out the fully off. And just like that, we no longer have to worry about him. Yeah, uh, you think? <laughs> <laughs> Unless he comes back as the Beetlejuice character. What are you doing? Come here. Girl's like a tiny head. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> the Beetlejuice doctor. Or so we don't have to worry much about those kind of head, other second head zombies much later. Unfortunately, they do exist. Oh, I'm sure they do. Let's see. Blow up an arm. Ooh, girl like that. Oh shit, I forgot. We gotta go get the dog whistle. Whoops. Hey, yo, yeah. That's my be. Hello. <laughs> I didn't say this was a speedrun or anything. No, no, no. We need that because, yeah, I'm not getting chomped for shooting. Yeah. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Don't worry, they're undead. It's a mercy killing. I know there's still Bobby, Bobby, Bobbies. I know. Just fleshy Bobby, Bobby, Bobbies. <laughs> They want to kill me. Well, yeah, they're probably, yeah. They can't help a virus got to their brain. This is true. I can't be too mad at them. They still are puppy, puppy, puppy. But once again, it's either me or them, and I choose me. Well, well yeah. I mean, of course. That's why this is <laughs> I see how it is. <laughs> no, you do. Alright, we're gonna go use up our old key because we need to go grab something. I like those doors, I swear it still looks like an owl. It looks like owl's eyes. I like that door. I don't, that's a store. A shield. <coughs> True. There's a bumpy dog. Alright, you know what? Before we grab that, I'm gonna nab on one of these to heal. There we go. Yeah, that would help since we got dead twice. Not my fault. <laughs> okay, is it might? <laughs> Don't judge. <laughs> I'm not judging, I'm just asking. <laughs> hey, pick it up. Okay. You can see the kind of the owl in, the, in this elaborate part of the swirly parts. I don't know, I kind of see it. Which kind of makes sense considering it's an outside door. Hmm. You know? Well, we'll have to come back to this. Heal, and he said, Which one? <laughs> Use the owl's eyes. Yeah, those are knockers on the doors, too. Why are there knockers on those doors? Weird. Why are there staircases and hallways that lead to dead ends? <laughs> For like display cases, like vases and stuff? <laughs> Here, take this door, leads to a hallway that goes to a dead end. <laughs> there. Now that we got rid of that key, we can go to the tub and get the old key real quick. Okay. Because we I need that. Georgia. Well, yeah, we do. 
I wanted to make sure we have all the keys. Yes. We'll go back to this way, and if I gotta shoot some damn dogs, so be it. Oh, yeah. Because there's no one except the house. I was being nice the first time. There ain't no nice no more. Mm -mm. going around in other routes because Matt's an idiot when it comes to inventory <laughs> management! Oh, oh, well, the dogs are dead here. There's nothing that can happen. Well, well, that's good. This area of the house is officially clean. take care of the armor key situation first. Okay. Because <laughs> that's important. Then we gotta burn the body. Yes. We got I thought we were gonna have some fun with the flames. <laughs> there will be s'mores. Dark Souls that I oh, usually get. The Grass yeah. Crest Shield. Alright. Alright, dog whistle. No! Alright, we are not having any luck with the puppy dogs. No, we're not. That's okay, though. Because here, there are plenty of green herbs. Good, because we've been getting our butt kicked. My dogs. <gasps> you bastard! <laughs> Alright. 
This way. <laughs> you have no luck with dogs. No. <laughs> it's not. It, it's dog day afternoon here, folks. And <laughs> that's not having it. <laughs> <laughs> Because Chris's um, voice actor also played as Batman in one game, and Batman in that game looked like Chris. Oh no! He looked like he had like the same muscle build as Chris Redfield as you see him as now in a Batman suit. Oh no! Uh, yeah, my butt. Go down to the basement. I'll show you. <laughs> I, I got Batman's and women. Come on. I got lots of things. I got spies. Eat you up. Alright, hopefully he's not a crimson head. Hopefully? Good. He's not. Okay. Hey! The problem has been solved. It's store time. Yes. But if we stay too close, we would take damage. Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> and if we were so low on health, it would actually kill us. You know, it was cracks me up. He sets up a fire in his mansion, but you don't set the mansion on fire. He's on a rug in a hallway. <laughs> and you're setting him on fire, and he's burning. So hence, the rug under him and around him would be burning. So therefore, wouldn't you think like the hallway would catch on fire? Not to mention, this place has to be extremely dusty. I don't see anybody polishing the banisters. That's all dry wood. This is like a matchstick waiting to happen, so... Mm. Like I said, you burn them on the carpet. Wouldn't it be like done? <laughs> <laughs> That's a fair point. <laughs> I mean, those draperies alone. I mean, look at this, the crap that hangs in the hallway. That's this is a very intricate mansion. Extremely, but I'm just saying. That's that's. I wouldn't want to pay the insurance on it for like five. You know. Homeowner's insurance, yeah. You. Okay. Chris Redfield, oh. <laughs> Alpha Team. We're here to rescue you. Richard, what the hell happened to you? Chris. It's Richard again. The slaves. Get your team out of here. Demons everywhere. Look at me. Don't talk. He seems to have been bitten by a poisonous snake. But the size of the bite mark is huge. Of course, it's a snake. It's Why would it be? Not just any ordinary snake. snake. <laughs> Take my word for it. He needs serum. Mm -hmm. I left it in another room. I'll go. I'd back. like to inform you that she is actually their Hold team's on. medic. I'll be back. And she left serum for poison behind. She ain't doing the job very good. No. I. I Your review, your, 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 your work, review, your work, pro, work production review for her for her medic is not going to be a very good one. Nope. Yes, we go on missions and she forgets the stuff. I think she needs to go back in the train, and she's wearing cut off. She's wearing jean shorts. That's because whenever you switch co uh, costumes for Chris, she always defaults to cowgirl. I don't really understand what? why. Why? It's just a costume. But, but why a powder? I don't know. It, Wait till Resident Evil Zero. 
Go save Richard. Oh, obviously, because you're like one of the only ones that can do anything. Because the medic can't do her job. God forbid. Alright, here we go. We can actually allow Richard to die if we take too long. <laughs> But if we do, we don't get the good stuff. Oh. All right, give him the, give him the antidote. You know, Chris has to be a good boy. Of course, gotta be the boy scout. Oh boy, I'm a boy scout. I'm a walking back on my lonely boy scout. Chris, the dude Redfield. Chris, I'm the dude. Hope this is what you wanted. Thank you. I'm gonna Next give you a time, shot carry now, Richard. It on you. Hang in there. Put it in, I don't know where you're gonna stick it. Now hold on, she didn't have the serum, but she had Take the syringes. It. Or the serum. It's a radio. Take care of yourself. Yes, they, were in a cow <laughs> they were in a cowboy boots. Richard. He's okay. He's just unconscious. Rebecca, it's not safe here. Let's get Richard to a safer place. Right. And now we automatically transfer ourselves all the way back to the Richard's serum room. Richard's doing well, Chris. He should recover soon. Because Good. that's what can happen. Richard's no, needs him now. Because we can go use our chemical plants to go as get the death mask we need. As soon as Richard gets better, we'll come after you. Rebecca, so that just saves you okay us with a gun? Point. That actually yes. saves us on time. All right. Okay. I'm going to continue my investigation. So she actually did something useful. Be careful. Also, if we come back into this room and talk to her, she can treat us for free, so we can get a free heal out of it. Oh. See? Well, useful! She, well, at least she has some purpose, rather than forgetting shit. But I still don't know. It's, it's, it's cowboy. Cowboy alpha. Never mind. Let it go. Let it go. Now, the question is, do we just go with the shotgun or do we use the old keys to get the magnum what do we really want well if we get the magnum we sacrifice a fat a uh, shortcut mm -hmm. but if we take the shortcut we sacrifice the magnum what is more important do we do we need the magnum Firepower would be nice. Then let's go for the magnet. Very well. We've made our choice. If we need it, There's no escaping crossing fate. If we need it, then let's go to it. But before we get any more masks, we gotta go get the music sheet. Yes. Unless we get the yellow gemstone to get the good, to get the true ending, which we are gonna do. Alrighty. Go this way. Let's go. The 
only time to actually get the blue gemstone this time is if we want more shotgun shells, but I don't think we necessarily need them at this point. I don't know. We're going to run into any more dogs? <laughs> <laughs> well, first we need just a shotgun. Just asking. Well, first we need a shotgun. Yeah, well, yeah, but I'm just saying. Just but in order ask. to do that, we need another old key to get into the room to get the fake shotgun so then we can get the, the real, real shotgun. shotgun. Yeah, that's right. That's that. You gotta. Yeah, yeah. Here, have this one that don't work, so we can have the one that do this. Meanwhile, the dogs are going. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't need your worry. Oops. Oops. That doesn't matter. Can you beat him in the head with the end of the gun? I wish. No, sir. <laughs> I mean, you know, they're gonna go match and they won't stop. They get that close. Let's turn that gun around and pistol with him. Alright, he's gonna get back up. But you know what? Fuck it. See, if we had the flame, we could have torched his butt. That's alright. More bullets. Thinking of power. More bullets? Okay. We want to make sure we get All right. Where did you come from? That you said you could come in. The run of the zombie we knocked down. Yeah. Up. Oh, okay. Good. Good. Now let's get the music sheet and get out of here. Yeah. Bye. Goodbye. Yo, they're both back though. Well, one is. The other one was stirring. Yeah, he would eventually have gotten there. But we don't have to worry about it anymore. Reload. Oh, See, this place looks so dry. I swear you set one of those suckers on fire. <laughs> that was cool. Whole place would go up. <laughs> Whole place would go up. All right. I rebuilt. Because the subterranean wouldn't be touched. So you can rebuild from, from that up. So you'd still have money pit down below to break it in. Yeah. That's not untrue. Mm -hmm. Then you make the whole top. You do the whole mansion. All the pillars that are going to be stuck and whatnot and everything to have it all stone. That way, then you could, they could run around. See, yeah, see. Then I'm thinking could, marble. Yeah, yeah. Then they could run around. Oh, like the house from Resident Evil, the movie. They, yeah, they. The could, only good part about the movie. Yeah, then they could run around flaming as much as they want, like there's nothing on fire. There's that you sit in your living room now cooking. Oh, I don't need this. So I'll be running by flaming me or throw it in and burns up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're in a trail, son. Could you imagine if Resident Evil one day, like, the mansion turned into, like, the Adams family? <laughs> That'd be cool. Spider would be kitty. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Funny you say that. Spider would be kitty. Because his name actually is Tiger. Oh. <laughs> spider would be kitty. I believe the spider's name is called Black Tiger. <coughs> that's right. You got to play your... That's right. You suck at first. We know you all. You're rusty as hell. Yeah, in case you guys are wondering, we, this is an actual second recording attempt because... Ah, technical difficulties, and let's not record during storms the next time. Oh, How about that? Yes, we have learned that lesson now. Oh, yeah. oh, what was that? What was My that? Oh, well, you can do any better. better. <laughs> no! Hello, me head. Sure. I'll keep trying but don't get too carried this. away. Oh, I won't. 
And of course, this doesn't trigger any zombie sightings or anything. I haven't done that musical anymore, but yet they don't. No one comes near the room. The noise is so bad it repels them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The power of the Moonlight Serana compels you! It's a zombie repellent. That I say that. Alright, let's go get more masks. Dun, 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 dun. Front and center. You go back. No. Lot of people think those weigh a ton, but actually, I've seen people do backflips and stuff in those things. Oh, the pseudo armor? Yeah. Oh. Well, it depends upon where they're hinged. Because if it's a full suit, they're a little heavier than, like, your hinge, than your, well, other suits. Well, too, it would depend if they have chain mail on underneath it, you know? Because you have chain mail. I'm talking full body. I'm talking about, like, the full suit, chain mail, and oh, Gav that's gotta be Gavison heavy. and all that. Well, then they're strong then, because... Chainmail alone is pretty heavy. I'm pretty sure having to lug around that much metal does require some endurance and physical training. Yeah. But I bet it's well worth it. Well, yeah. Because it looks cool as hell. Mm hmm. Now, if I did my unlocking carefully, this door and one more door should be the only doors left for the armor key. Yeah. And we already said we're getting the Magnum. So. We need the crest. But do I have the space for it? Like a ninny, I probably don't. <laughs> no, I definitely don't. Oh, no. That's okay. We can go dump the three masks, come back, get the crest, and then go see what Rebecca wants. Rebecca! Jim, good job. <laughs> we ran around you. All right, hopefully I can open this door one more time. We ran around you. Bye, zombie. Puzzle time in the crow room. Aha. the crows and we're all good that's right the crows are good i want one I want, 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 want. and then this one it turns playful <laughs> there's all the colors there we go Alright, you know what? Let's go dump off the masks, and then next time when we play Resident Evil, we'll go get the crest, and then we'll go see what Rebecca wants. Okay. Because there's a save point in the dining hall. Alrighty, whoa. That's alright. Zumba, zumba. Hey, we dodged straight around them. Yes, we did. The 
says it's like shag carpeting. Is it, or maybe it's just the pattern of the rug. But it looks like it's like that thick, old-fashioned, 1960s shag carpeting. Kinda. Oh god, could you imagine trying to keep the carpets and all that clean? Ew. Every day. I'd go mad. I'd probably quit. Yeah. Wipe your feet before you come into this house. Wipe your feet. Who got snow on my floor? <laughs> oh, then you're a dead man. <laughs> Clean out that coffin there and we can sell it as a special guest bed. <laughs> Throw in an extra 20 bucks and you get to sleep in the coffin puzzle. <laughs> now, that's the mask from the middle slot. Nope, I have the mouth mask, which goes in this one! Okie dokie, so next time on Resident Evil, we are gonna go see what's up with Rebecca. Maybe yes. she can finally perform, but first we need press two. And we're going to have to get away from the bees! <laughs> bees, my god! Yes, I shot at the screen. Anyways, bye!